Okay, Ryan Stinelson here with Accelerate Marketing, and I have Crystal, and I have Gemma at one of our clients' offices. And the reason for our video today is is really simple. Uh, we have a tool that we that we use and we implement with with businesses um, called location management in order to help them rank higher on Google Maps and on all the other directories, so that ultimately your phone rings more often. Every business, most every business that comes to us says one thing. They say, Ryan, we just want to get found more organically on Google. We want more people to find us when they type in immigration attorney, San Diego, immigration, you know, uh, personal injury attorney, South Florida, etc. Whatever your keywords are, you want to show up on the maps. When you do, your phone's going to ring, especially if you've got a great reputation to boot. Having said that, really quick, really quickly, what we're going to go over today, Crystal's going to go over, is she's very simply going to go over how you can optimize the 71 directories that we claim using our, what we call our location management services tool or system. So what we do with our location management system is <clears throat> we go out there and we claim other directories like Google in order to help you rank higher on Google. Why does, that, why does that happen that way? Well, the reason why that works is because when Google sees that you've got these other 70, 70 directories out there, 71 directories, it's kind of like a tree that's got a very strong root system. It sees that you've got a more established presence in the online world, and therefore it will actually rank you higher. So it's very important not only that you have those directories set up, but that you have them set up with the correct name, address, and phone number, NAP, okay, for short. That's the acronym, name, address, and phone number. And what we do with this system is we check on a regular basis to make sure that there's no duplicate listings. And if there is, we just redirect those listings to your main listing. That's part of what we do. But what we have is we have, this, we have this one page called the knowledge base that we use in order to change the information on all 71 of those directories. And that's what is so powerful about this system that we use is that we have a one, one page, a cockpit, if you will, that we are allowed to change all the information, name, address, phone number, videos, photos, you name it, on all those other directories so that when we do, what it does is it sends these social signals out to Google so that when you make changes in this knowledge base, it does a great thing for you because what it does is it lets Google know that you're active and that you've actually made changes on all 71 of those directories. And what do you think happens with your Google My Business page rankings? They go way up and that is, what we're gonna, that's why we're doing what we're doing today. And with that, I'm gonna let Crystal take it away and, and show you how to do this. So Crystal. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, one thing that I do wanna add, which I get quite a few questions about is, why do we suppress a duplicate and not delete it? And so I just wanna address that real quick. The reason why is because we direct traffic from the duplicate listing to a root listing, which preserves hard earned SEO and listing traffic. So keep in mind, duplicate suppression is crucial to any local SEO strategy because the search engine success depends upon delivering reliable content to its users. Search engines rank businesses based on the quality and accuracy of their content online. So duplicate listings dilute a business's reliability in its online information, which then lowers the business's value and ranking on a search engine results page. Inconsistent and inaccurate business listings can impact sales by receiving less phone calls and less website clicks. And that is why we suppress and not delete. <laughs> okay, so um, Gemma, let's go here. I'm going to share my screen and walk you into logging into our location management system. So if you go to acceleratemarketing.optimizelocation.com, type in the username and password, 
And by the way, if, if you're watching this as a, as a client of ours, customer, then you, we, in, our, in your Basecamp project, in the important information section, you will have your email and password and the link to this so that you can go in there and log in. Yes, thanks Ryan, and I'll show you exactly where it's at. It's here in text documents, and it'll say important information and login. Yep. Okay, so let's log in here to our location management system. Once you put your username, your password, and sign in, what it's going to do is bring you to this home page. Now, um, the reason why it is this way is because sometimes businesses have more than one location. And so this is a, a perfect way of organizing that instead of kind of being a little scatterbrained on which location you're referring to. This system here will have it organized on this home page. So um, click on the location. Did you click on the location, Gemma? Yes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Once you click on here, it goes into the information, the core information about your business, business details, email, website, and apps information, along with photos and videos, social media, enhanced content, and uh, additional attributes. So right here, what we're looking at is the business name. And this is important because this is going to be spread across all 71 directories. So we've got to make sure, like Ryan said earlier, that that business name is correct. Well, it's, it's not just the name, it's the name and, 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 what's, and what's listed at the top there. It's name, address, and phone number. And, and actually just below it, the categories are probably, you know, you know second to the name, address, and phone number, um, making sure that those are, those are what you want. The other really important thing here is to make sure that you have as many categories here as you possibly can added because you can actually have up to 10. And it's critical because very simply, when people go to these directories, they're gonna search. And if you have more categories that you've listed, 10, then that simply means that you are gonna show up for more searches because you have identified yourself as being associated with more categories. So the more categories you associate yourself with, the more likely it is that somebody's gonna find you. So just use as many as you can. And by the way, you can, you can organize these in terms of importance. So you can, you can put, you can drag and drop as Crystal's gonna show here, you know, yes, you can reorder them. So if business law is more important than family law, then you would put that as the top category and you just adjust accordingly. Yes, and to add a category, you click here, you type in, um, let's say legal services and it will pre-populate in giving you different types of options um, on, on some of the categories that are listed here within our tool. So you can continue to add and build that. Yep. And so it gives you oh. plenty of different choices there. So you can see, you know, you might not be able to think of additional other categories right now, but when you, when you actually go to the category section, it will give you plenty of other ideas. So there's probably, Shlomi um, and, and Gemma, there's probably tons more that you can, that you, know, that you, can, uh, that you would be applicable to. Right. Yeah, so. and did you see how I went in to make a change? Do you see this pencil on the right-hand side? Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can get out of this. Yep, yep, I saw it, yep. Okay, so when you click on the pencil, that's how it gets you to add additional categories. Yep. And always make sure to press save. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, and same thing to change the business name if you click on the pencil and then click save, it yep. does the same thing. Um, and, then with, and I wanna say with the, the map marker, if you click on that, the map marker, um, you know, this is really important because especially for you, Shlomi, you're in downtown New York. I mean, you're next to the Trump Tower and, you know, you got, you, you, you know, parking is, you know, can be insane. So somebody might, theoretically, you know, you might direct them to park in a different location. And so that's why you've got all these choices here on the, on the left as far as the markers are concerned. Because um, you might want to use your display marker as, and make that totally different from where, 
you want somebody to be able to, to drive to or walk to or pick up or drop off. Does that make sense? Right. Yeah. So there, so in other words, you can identify, um, you know, uh, the, use these different markers to, to leverage and, and be, and be more effective in communicating with your clients, you know, so that they can more, you know, make it easier to, to get to your office, for example, and to, and to meet with you and, and, to get picked up or to be dropped off or to walk to your location or whatever. Okay. Uh, so Ryan, um, now do you agree that this makes Google happy because the more specific we are, absolutely the location, the it's, better and, and, it, and, it, and, it, it, and it's not just Google. It's all the directories. They all, when, when you look, here's the bottom line. Great question, Crystal. When, when you fill out and use all of the available parameters that you have here, categories, you know, map markers, keywords, the more specific and precise and more information that you can give to the directories, the, the more you're going to get rewarded, the more phone calls you're going to get bottom line. And that's what location management is all about. Because years ago, when we did this, we'd have to go to every single one of these directories separately. Can you imagine do you know what, what your life would be like if you had to do this? You, you probably would have quit, you know, three or four months ago doing this, right? So, um, but with this, you just go to one place, you make one change, and it changes on all 71 directories. Yes. And then in order to get out of this map marker, on the top right-hand side, there and, is a close. Yeah. And by, by the way, all you do is you just, you literally just drag and drop. I mean, so you, you, you just, yeah, you click on each one of those and then you just grab the mark. Yeah. You just grab oh, the marker and you move I think it around. Well, they're already, already moved. There. They're already added. Yeah. You, yeah. So you it's already there. I can't yeah. redo that. But that's all they have, they have to do. Yep. So close that out. Yeah. And then or what if they drop it in the wrong spot, Ryan? You can just, move it. You can you can just, just click move it. on it and you can yep. move it back. Yep. All right. Just want to make sure we have Dave, that there. Look Dave, at how Dave. fancy this is too. revert to original position. If you make a mistake. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so um, we'll go back to close. Okay, uh, business phone number. Now this is important and I like to um, explain this part because what I'm noticing when I'm uh, suppressing a lot of the duplicates is that the business phone number is not the same across the board. And what I've learned is that if you have two different phone numbers showing up in the search results, it can confuse the um, individual that's that created that search and they can skip and move on to the next. Yep. Absolutely. Now the, I'm going to say this, the featured message is really important as well. Um, like I said, every single opportunity that you can take in order to add more information, some people don't use this featured message and it's silly because mm -hmm. if you've got any sort of an offer, put it here. If you've got any sort of an offer that you give, if you're a, you know, you might not just be an attorney. You might, I mean, you might, where, where you don't really have an offer. I mean, attorneys don't really have offers. They're like free consultations. That's what I meant by, you know, just, just an attorney. I'm saying if you might, you know, be a business where you actually do have a free offer, you know, um, that, or some sort of a, you know, special that you can give. It's kind of tough for a, for somebody that that's a consultant um, to really give a, you know, a special, but this is where you'd put that. And I highly recommend that even, even an attorney can still put, you know, an offer for an initial consultation and, and send people to the, to the contact page like we did here. Yeah. Right. And, and I agree too, Ryan. And if you happen to get stuck on this, uh, you want to put something in there, but you're playing the game of what if, or I don't know what to put in. We have a worksheet that can help you um, build something like this in order to, to add a featured message. So let yeah. us know and we can send that your way as well. well yeah, and, th and that's where they would just connect with us on Messenger like, like Shlomi has. And, 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 and Shlomi, I've, it's the lead magnet. So the lead magnet checklist and worksheet, um, it's a great tool. All you have to do is, is connect with us on our page for Messenger and then we can send that lead magnet worksheet to you automatically if you just type in the word lead magnet and then the keyword and then you'll just, you'll get it. And that way you just follow that, that worksheet and you'll be able to put together a great lead magnet uh, for your business. Right. That's very helpful too. Good. <laughs> great. Awesome. Also here, there's a question mark if you kind of want to have some ideas um, on what the featured message does. 
just click on the question mark and it'll give you additional information. Always make sure to click save before you move on to the next option. Do you have any questions for us, Gemma? Uh, no, as of now. Okay. Okay, okay good. <laughs> See, she, she's, a, she's a Snapchat generation. She, she gets this stuff quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, business description. The thing that I really like about this is as your business evolves, show me, and as it grows, you can come in here and update that information so that it's changed and updated across the board. Right. Okay. okay. One so, place and goes to everywhere. Yep. Yep. If you click on the pencil, you can um, highlight, delete, add, and then make sure to click saved yep. or save. Um, business hours, uh, specify business hours. You can make sure, um, here's some options. You can put Monday, if it's um, nine to seven, Monday through Friday, you can click on this button here and it'll apply to all. Uh, what I like to do is apply to all, and then if Saturday is a different hour, I'll just go in and change that because it saves some time, and then I'll delete out Sunday if we're closed. Yeah. Um, additional hours. I just want to say the more information that is put in here, the better. So if there are additional hours, occasionally um, click this to, to add that information. Okay, for example, I would like to add here um, available for a certain situation, emergency situation over the phone uh, during weekends. That will be the place to, to, to write it, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. okay. Save. And, and then, of course, <laughs> holiday hours is great because, you know, then, yes. you know, people ask, like, you know, what are your holiday hours? You know, Thanksgiving you know, Christmas, whatever. I mean, it's like, you know, it, this, this really solves the problem. And what's really cool is it is, is it sends it out to all 71 directories. So you don't have to go and update Facebook and Yelp and Google and Bing and it's just one stop, you're done. Yeah. So everybody knows when and, you know, where to get, you know, get a hold of you. Okay. Payment methods, um, there's an option check mark what, what payment methods you accept, and then click save. Contact email. Right now we have you listed Shlomi. Right. Is there recommend, uh, oh, go ahead. <laughs> would you recommend to add more, more than one email or the same idea as the one phone number will apply here as well? I, I would say multiple is, is okay here. It's, 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 you know, it's not like the one phone number. Um, you know, just to add on to the one phone number, it's, it's even more than just one phone number. It's even having a, a local number sometimes is, is a lot better as well um, mm -hmm. with a local area code. Um, but, um, but yeah, so, but yeah, you can put more in here for sure. Okay. Yep. Yep. Good question. The more, the more access you give an individual to contact you, the better. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't hear that. Was that a question? No, we're just going to add another email. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, website information. You can put your main website, and then there's also an option to display. So if your website URL is long or it contains um, tracking parameters, you can enter a display URL to be shown in its place in your listing. So okay. that by clicking it, it opens to your website. Okay, uh, uh, sa uh, same question about uh, the, um, uh, the website as well. We have uh, uh, our website in uh, two languages and in the near future it's gonna be more than two. Perfect. Would you recommend to, to add a link to, to each language or just uh, leave the main, main website? Well, see this is, this is for like order. Um, Reservations. Yeah, menu, this is more for like restaurants. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I, we, we'll have to, we'll get back to you on that because I don't know, I think we just, let's just leave it with that right now. Yeah. And then, um, because I think those other ones are really primarily for just restaurant situation. Right. Okay. Um, if you've got an iOS URL, you know, if you've got an Android app, you can put it, you can put a link to them in there. Um, and then, yeah, you can see that we've got the business logo. This is really critical. I mean, 
you guys can have the opportunity to add photos to 71 directories at one shot and one time. So right. keep adding like, like this mm -hmm. is something, you know, like keep adding photos here all the time. It just, it's silly not to, you know, internal photos of the, of your staff, external of the building, you know, um, you know, just anything like, you know, all kinds of photos of what you're doing. I have a question. Yes. Can we add a photo of our reviews? That's a good question. And you, you absolutely can. Yeah, you can, you can definitely do a screenshot. We've done that. We've actually, we're part of our system for reputation is, is that we add what we call review images to your seven social media sites. Um, but yeah, you can definitely, this will be displayed in a different area, but you absolutely can, you know, post images of your reviews as well. Not a problem. Yeah. Great question. And, and then, so in order to add those photos, you just click here. Yep. Um, add photos and then you can drag and drop yep. or you can also select a file or enter um, a website. Yep. And then the video, YouTube video, like awesome. Like this is really, we, we, we need to have a YouTube video there. Um, yes. You know, search, you can even search YouTube, you know, in order to find one and then the, you just add it and it, that, that goes to all 71 directories. Okay. Okay. Just keeps going. Okay, so Foursquare, um, Twitter handle. Yeah, you can add all these. Your Instagram handle, the more the better, like, we, like we've said. Um, you know, if you can set up a Foursquare special, do that, you know, um, add it there. Um, enhance products, absolutely. Display on publisher. I mean, like, like put in your products and services. You know, if you can create a calendar, your bios of your staff, you know what I'm saying? I mean, right. absolutely. Like, why not? You're established. If you just keep scrolling down. Um, <laughs> yeah. You're established products, services, specialties, associations, brands, languages, keywords. I mean, this is, you know, why not? You know, right. I mean, it's it, like put as much information and detail in here as you possibly can keep going. Okay. So, okay, so yeah, Google My Business Attributes, accessibility, amenities, planning. You can see down there. Um, and by the way, you can upload photos for your Google My Business page right above that, Crystal. Uh-huh. Yeah, you can add a cover photo if you want right there by just, you know, because you're, you're connected to the Google My Business uh, or, or uh, yeah, Google My Business photos right there. Mm -hmm. So you can change the logo and the profile photo right there. Um, you can identify, is it wheelchair accessible? Is, it, is there a wheelchair entrance accessible? Is there amenities? You know, is, what's the planning? You know, is it LQBTQ friendly? You know, I mean, like look at all the detail here, but this is really important. Like, because this is, trust me, you know, you asked me, Shlomi, the other day, right. what's gonna help us increase the, the likelihood that we're gonna rank higher in New York City, for goodness sakes, the biggest city in the, in the country of the United States. Mm -hmm. You know, you're against a lot of competition. Mm -hmm. If you're doing things that other people aren't, like putting all this information in, trust me, you will enhance your likelihood that you're gonna rank higher. Even though you don't have 10 years, maybe, maybe they've got 10 years ahead of time, you know, uh, head start on you in terms of, you know, you know, adding content. If you are more detailed, you can beat them out in the detailed, you know, uh, side of things. And that, that, will, that will win the game as well in terms of you ranking higher. Okay. Okay. What do we got? Yep. So there's Facebook cover photo, Facebook profile picture, call to action. You can add a call to action here on Facebook, which I would also recommend. Yep. Um, right. Well, let's yeah. do it right now. You put send message. Yeah, just click, click, send message. Yep. Okay. Save. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> uh, Uber, yeah. uh, link to launch Uber and trip branding. Yep. So what this is, okay, if you want to, you can actually, if people are, are really wanting to know how to get to your location and with Shlomi, this might, this might apply to you because you have a lot mm -hmm. of people visiting you. You can actually copy this link for Uber, okay? okay? And you can add it to your website. And when people click on it, it literally shows up on their Uber app and it literally has a picture based on 
your URL and your description here. It literally will show up in the Uber app, an image, your logo, and the description, all the information that you put here. Wow. You see, so it says, like example, view our restaurant menu, and you can put a link there. So right. when somebody's in the Uber app, <laughs> Mm -hmm. And they're on their way to your location. You can send them to your, a certain page on your site wow. before they even get there. Like your testimonials page. That's right. So that's really cool. So, and then you can put the URL there. You can put the description of what it is. And then that's what, that's what the little pop-up looks like. It's just showing you a preview. You see that? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. it. So there's your call to action message. So as you generate it, you'll see, and you can just, you can take that code, um, Gemma, you can take that code and you can add it to the, you can give it to the developer, that code right there. Once you put your branding information in there, it's going to make that change the code and then you send it to them and then all that will be built right into that little code that is added to your website. Right. Yeah. 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 Yep. And now we got a new website under construction. So perfect. Yeah. Good. You can add it to the first. Perfect. Okay. We're almost done here. So, um, yep. All the yep. other stuff is internal use stuff, but that at the bottom there, that's all internal use stuff. So don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. so, was this helpful though? Yes, it's really helpful. Okay, good. So we we're doing all this just to summarize. We're doing all of this to help you get better rankings on the maps. And ultimately what that does is it makes it so that more people, when they type in your keywords for your business, which you, you actually put in on that form, um, that's why they asked for it. You're gonna show up for those keywords now and you're gonna have a better chance for people to call you, okay? And so it's basically gonna get you more traffic and more business and more phone calls. And, um, and if anybody that's watching this has any questions, um, please go to um, acceleratemarketing.com or you can just, you can hit me up on messenger at uh, m.me forward slash Ryan Steinelson um, and, and I'll answer any questions there, my, me or my team. And we will send you a message back within either an audio message back or a video message back within 24 hours for sure from messenger m.me forward slash Ryan Steinelson. 